Do you know that feeling when someone walks past you and you just know that they have the money? The way they carry themselves, the way they look at others, but most importantly the way they dress. Or maybe when you walk into someone's house, have a short look around, use their washroom and wipe your butt with their fancy ass three-ply toilet paper and wash your hands with fancy ass soap. A few weeks ago I found a thread on Reddit and got a lot of ideas from it and thought what better place to look for things that make you look rich for cheap than on the website with the cheapest things out there. Wealth doesn't scream, it whispers. That's why even subtle things can change the whole impression that you make on others. First thing is a fitted suit. Not an oversized one-size-fits-all type of suit, but a nicely fitted one. The old school wealth doesn't wear anything that stands out, however their clothes always have a perfect fit. Generally fitted suits can be quite expensive, but luckily there are sellers on AliExpress that will get your sizing dimensions from you and hem the suit according to your body type. Nothing makes a guy look better than a good haircut and a nicely fitting two or three piece suit. The prices vary from $70 to $150 depending on the material. The second thing is a nice looking silk shirt. Silk is an expensive material, but there are cheaper synthetic options that look just as good. The sizing might be a bit of an issue if you're a larger gentleman, so if this is the case we will move on to the next product. The other thing that your fitted suit might need for an extra touch of luxury is a fancy pocket square. I have provided the links to three different ones in the description of the video. By the way, you can find a lot more premium grade products in the special shop section on our website which I have linked in the description of the video. Another item that will make your household seem rich is cake forks. Obviously you can never admit to polishing them yourself, unless you want to put on that you're just a little hard on luck at the moment and get some sympathy. You can easily drop this into conversation without having to invite someone over. Say John, who is your cake fork guy, is he good? But be prepared for them to respond, no Jim, I use a bad cake fork guy. And once you're done with discussing your cake fork teams and it's time to serve main courses, you can impress your guests even more by using other fancy cutlery like this rose gold cutlery set. There are also options for matte cutlery which also look baller as fuck. Money clips from the previous video, because wallets are overrated. Put big bills on the outside and fill it with singles. Money clips also help you get rid of all the useless plastic loyalty cards, which can easily be stored digitally in your smartphone with an app like Stall Card anyway. LED light for under cabinet lighting. They light up the backsplash counter below and scream I had the custom lighting done by an electrician. There is also a more expensive version with a motion sensor. Watches. Here the obscurity rule does not apply, they can be as obnoxious as needed or as low-key as desired. I have added 4 different options with very good feedback and many pictures and reviews that show how they really look, and I was seriously impressed with how cheap they can be. Minimalist jewelry. As I said, wealth whispers. The less obnoxious you think are, the better. Unless we're talking about unflattering button-ups. There was someone on Reddit thread talking about their colleague who has some golden earrings with zirconia drops that she thought the coworker either stole from her grandma or her boyfriend must have given them to her, but they were actually really cheap ones from a drugstore. There is a ton of different options for minimalist access series on AliExpress. A couple examples are in the description of the video. A decanter or a fancy pitcher. Here's a simple life hack. Buy a $7 bottle of red, put it in decanter before friends arrive and toss the bottle. When friends arrive, apologize that the wine has been only breathing for a short amount of time and if anyone doesn't like the wine, it's obviously because it didn't have time to breathe. Pair it with a wine aerator for the maximum effect, sold separately. Cufflinks. You will need the correct shirt, of course. There is no shortage of different designs on Ali, so pick the ones that you really like. An old school razor for shading. The blades are super cheap and, as some people say, the process is just incredibly enjoyable. You feel like a don when you're shaving and it feels less like a chore and more like a ritual. That great t-shirt billionaires always be wearing. Here is an example. 260 euros for a shirt. Or this one from Virgin Wool. I mean, I, I do prefer wool nobody has ever had sex with before. But still, $2,150 for a t-shirt. A simple gray one would look good nonetheless and it wouldn't cost like half of your house. There is also a link for a not so bad looking long sleeve one in the description of the video as well. Trash bags instead of grocery bags for your garbage bins. They are super cheap and they look way classier. You can pick up a 50 pack for less than $2. After watching Tywin Lannister do this many times, I really thought about getting my own wax seal, but then I remember that I only mail a letter like once a year. But the reason I don't send more letters is simply because I don't have the wax seal. You can get the whole kit for less than $10. Fountain pens. They just make the whole writing experience a lot more enjoyable. The handwritten notes and wax seal stamps would make your letters a lot classier. I have added links to both the pen and the ink. There is also a lot of different looking pens in the related items too. 
If you are unfortunate enough to smoke, a cigarette case instead of a paper pack feels a lot classier. Plus, you can ration your smokes for a day and avoid giving them out to people as it would make it really easy to show that you only have a couple left. Fancy plates. Either unusual plates or with pretty patterns on them, just like your grandma keeps in her cabinet for the special guests. Of course, you can still hit up thrift stores in your area to find them even cheaper. A chic smartphone holder, one of the items from the premium category from our shop section. I think that this one looks really nice for the price. This dessert tray, also from our shop section, you can tell that I'm starting to run out of the ideas. Nevertheless, serving your guests the $5 store-bought cheesecake in this instantly makes it taste better, especially when consumed with the fancy cake forks. Rose soap or any other fancy soap that you place in the bathroom prior to the guest's arrival. This rose soap has a few bars in the set which will last you for a while, and it also makes a great looking gift for a distant family member. A sandalwood comb looks and feels a lot better than a cheap plastic comb, and it costs a very low amount of money. The teeth are a lot harder to break too, so it would last longer, unless someone steals it from you. A bag that doubles as a backpack. It looks obscure enough to have been bought from an expensive designer store, yet practical enough to actually be used. Fancy headphones. These Superlux HD 681s are recommended by the reputable Aerofill Circle Jerk forums as cheap and very high in quality headphones model. They even have Lux in the brand name. I, I mean, you, you can't argue with that. What can be cooler than having a goddamn robot clean your house? A robot vacuum cleaner is an absolute sign of status. Objectively speaking, with the similar gadgets costing around $500 in stores, I still consider the $190 price tag relatively cheap. Thank you for watching this video until the end and I hope all your efforts to look rich do not go unnoticed. Cheers!